Recently, many customers are interested in our optical boxes. Today, we will show you more about the combination of high power laser tube through practical operation. The technician is adjusting the brutal section, which is what we commonly call the polarizing lens assembly of the combiner box. Let's take a closer look at the main components of this optical box. Let's open the lid above to check. I believe you have seen two Brewster components. As you can see in the video, these two components are the key to achieving the combined of beams. The function of the cover is to prevent dust. Combined beam box for reflection lens assembly. When the beam of B is above or below their beam, beam of A is fixed. Observing the position of beam of B and adjust B. Adjusting the combiner box polarizer lens assembly. Reference video of parallel to big power optics alignment. There are specific adjusting steps inside. After each adjusting step, need to check the position of beam in the far field 3.5 meters. Also check the position of beam in the near field 10 mm. To check the beam at this location 10 mm, we chose to use acrylic. Beware of laser hazard. Our technicians are very skilled at avoiding laser beam. After checking the beam distribution in the far field 3.5 meters and near field 10 mm, the beam do not combine. So continue to adjust the polarizer lens assembly. Careful observation is to adjust the position of the component by constantly tightening the screws so as to continuously adjust the direction of the beam. The top one and two screws and bottom three and four screws are to be loosened first. After adjusting these four screws need to be tightened. It is currently in a tight state. You can see the video for specific adjustment steps, parallel to big power optics alignment. Because of space limitations, we need to use some tools to tighten the screws. This is a process that is repeated continuously. Loosen the screws to adjust then tighten the screws and check if the B-beam does not coincide with the beam. Again loosen the screws to adjust then tighten the screws and check. Carefully observe the beam shot. In this far field adjustment, B-beam is on the right of a beam. Adjusting for reflection lens assembly. In the video, now tighten the screws to move in the reflection lens. Adjusting tighten the screws and then check. Again and again loosen the screws to adjust then tighten the screws and check. In the far field check the position of B-beam on the beam. To determine the adjustment screw. Constantly adjusting. Constantly detecting the position of beam. Different location performance. Different methods. Please check the specific steps. Parallel to big power optics alignment. It can be seen from the video that the workbench is one piece. There are switches in the far field to activate the A and B tube. The technical S left hand is firing the laser below the start switch. Now has been adjusting the full reflection lens assembly. Because this is a delicate device, many small adjustments are required. It can be seen that this adjustment process requires the patience and care of the technician. Multiple observation of far field and near field conditioning. Far field adjustment for reflection lens assembly. Note that BBM is on the left or right of a beam. After the adjustment is completed, when a beam and B beam combined, Fix all the fastening screws. Finally check the beam in the near field. This adjustment process looks complicated, but it is actually very concise. Two parts, far field and near field. Two Brewster plates, polarizer lens and full reflection lens assembly. The technician said it's being adjusted. Now fix all the fastening screws. I really admire it. Give the technician a big affirmation. Carefully complete the final finishing touches. I believe that today's actual operation, everyone should have a very clear understanding of this optical box. If you are interested in this optical box, we have another very detailed video. Parallel tube big power optical alignment. There are many videos about our laser tube technology in my video catalog. Now you should know the black box pretty well.
This optical box is the heart of laser tube and must be of the highest quality. Total weight 2.5 kg. In fact, a lot of work needs to be done after the beam is adjusted. We need to run for a while and keep checking the beam and power. The white paper is called thermal paper, which is specially used to check the beam of laser tube. Let's check the final beam. What's so cool? Very round energy distribution is very uniform. Next, we need to monitor the power data to check the stability of the laser tube. The dynamometer is imported from UK. It combines data conversion through power conduction. It is a very precise set of equipment. Monitoring the stability of the laser tube at all times. Today, as protagonist is this black optical box. Thank you for your watching. If you want to communicate with us, my account WhatsApp 加八十六一八六五二六五二二一八 Judy。